Well, hi there, this is Scott Duffy from GetCloudSkills.com. And in this video, we're going to be talking about changes to the AZ-204 Microsoft Certified Azure Developer Associate Certification. Now, this whole change of page here, this landing page, is a bit strange to me, and I'm going to tell you why. The last updated date shows July 2024. Here we are in October. And they've just announced some changes to this exam as of October 11th. This should say September or October. So this last updated seems to be wrong. Now, if we go down to the um, study guide, I'm going to click on that. We can see that under the change log, it mentions the skill area prior to October 11th, skill area as of October the 11th, and it's listing minor changes under a couple of topics and percentage changes under a couple of topics. Okay. So let's go back. Let's look at the skills measured. Now, this is very strange to me because according to my records, I'm looking at the course here, the percentages of the exam are exactly the same. 25 to 30, 15 to 20, 15 to 20, 10 to 15, and 20 to 25. So according to uh, the historical record, this change has not changed, but clearly Microsoft is indicating that the percentage of the exam has changed. So I don't know if it changed and then changed back, but this percentage of the exam score has not changed. This is misleading at best. The other two things to note are a couple of topics that are, are mentioned as minor changes. I find this also to be uh, misleading in this one case. If we go back up to uh, app ser web service web apps, I'm going to go here under app service web apps. I can call up the same requirements again from an old video in my course and side by side, nothing has changed. So it lists this as a minor change. I don't see it as a change. I don't understand that at all. Lastly, they're mentioning the troubleshooting with application insights. There is a new requirement. So if all of the changes listed, the, even the change log seems to be wrong about most of them, except there is this new application insights implementation requirement. Okay. Now, finally, I should mention there seems to be a whole section missing. So at the bottom of the requirements, it says uh, connect to third party services, 20 to 25, talks about API management, but the old requirements talked about event grid, event hub, service bus, and queue storage. So two whole sections have been removed but the percentage remains the same. So I don't know if this is correct or if they just didn't publish the entire requirements of the exam. As a result, I'm not going to change this information inside the course just in case it's actually on the exam and it um, was done in error. So uh, unfortunately, from time to time, Microsoft does make mistakes. I mean, I guess we are all only human there is a new topic coming up in October in terms of implementation of application insights, but nothing else on this exam seems to have changed. So this is a heads up for the AZ-204 Azure Certified Developer Exam that even though it shows there's some changes that we're not able to see those in terms of the exam objectives. And so we don't know whether the objectives are wrong or the change log is wrong. And we will never know until they fix either of those. 
Anyways, that's life. That's reality. This is Scott Duffy from Get Cloud Skills. Now you can find me on YouTube at Get Cloud Skills, youtube.com slash at sign Get Cloud Skills, one word. I am around 300 subscribers away from 30,000. I think that would be a pretty cool goal to reach by the end of the month. So if you would do me the honor and the favor, thank you very much to subscribe to this channel. That would be awesome. I do, don't do videos all the time, but I do videos when changes are coming to the Microsoft exams. And I'll be there to tell you when there's been updates. We'll talk about uh, certification tips. We'll talk about new courses or new technologies that are coming out, vision services and hub and spoke model for networking, things like that. So please subscribe to the channel. And that would be, that would be awesome if I can reach my 30,000 subscriber goal. I do appreciate you for considering that. Thank you. Hopefully this puts your mind at ease that not much is changing in the AZ-204 exam as far as we know. Continue on with your studies and good luck.